I want to use this example to take you through the steps to calculate our growth rate. This pertains to your exercise for this coming Friday in regard to computing some selected financial uh, uh, statistics for Apple Computer. And what I have here would be to calculate the compounded growth rate uh, for Apple's diluted earnings between 2006 and 2007, 2008, 2007 and 2008. So we're going to have two growth rates, 0607 and then 0708. Let me bring up where you're going to get the information. As indicated, you're going to get the information from Morningstar. And here we have 10-year income statement for Apple. And our focus is down here on diluted earnings per share. So you can see for 2006, it's 227. For 07, it's 393. And 08, it's 536. So the objective here, to calculate the growth rate between 06, 07, and then calculate another growth rate for 07, 08. Going back to uh, our table, let's go through the steps or go through the keystrokes. When Apple is on, think of what we're doing here. Think of the TI analysts kind of like a spreadsheet, kind of like an Excel spreadsheet. So the first thing that we have to do is make sure that we have a new spreadsheet. And that's why we go second clear TVM. That will provide us with a new spreadsheet. The second thing we want to do is go second payment per year. We want to enter one because we're calculating the growth rate between 06 and 07. That is one year. And then we go second quit. And second quit simply gets us out of this cell. And once we go second, quit, we can put in the information that we need to calculate the growth rate. Therefore, 06, we had uh, diluted earnings per share of 227. Make sure anytime you put anything in the present value, you put a negative in front of that value. That's just one of these idiosyncrasies of the TI business analysts. The next thing we we want to do is, okay, how many years are we talking about? Well, once again, we're talking about calculating the growth rate for one year. That is 06 to 07. Next, we put in our terminal value or the future value, and that would be diluted earnings for 07, and that is 393. Finally, we want to calculate the growth rate. So we simply go compute interest per year, and up pops our answer, answer of 73.13%. That's our compounded growth rate between 06 and 07 for diluted earnings per share. You would do exactly the same thing in the calculations for 07, 08.